हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू विविड बॉटनी होप यू आर प्रिपेरिंग वेल फॉर द नेक्स्ट कमिंग नीट एग्जाम राइट आई थिंक आई वुड लाइक टू से फ्यू वर्ड्स अबाउट योर प्रिपरेशन दैट इफ यू प्रिपेयर फॉर ट्वेल्व आवर्स रियली प्रिपरेशन फॉर ट्वेल्व आवर्स इज नॉट ए बिग थिंग बिकॉज ए डे इंक्लूड्स ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स इन द ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स यू स्लीप फॉर एट आवर्स remaining 4 hours you go for bathing you go for taking meal and here and there remaining 12 hours is compulsory for preparation for an exam like neat so within 12 hours make four slots like 3 hours for botany 3 hours for zoology 3 hours for physics and 3 hours for chemistry so how do you prepare in 3 hours right don't read all the 3 uh, hours for only for preparation i suggest 1 hour for preparation and 1 hour for recapitulation or half an hour for preparation half an hour for recapitulation so i'll elaborate how to prepare very well for the neat exam that what is the importance of recapitulation what is the importance of revision how can we revisit with the mind the same terms same examples again and again how does it help us to prepare well and to concretize our concepts of the uh, concepts of various subjects i'll explain that in a separate channel don't forget to drop your comments i want to know what you are exactly feeling about this explanation and are there any doubts regarding some other concepts i want to know so please subscribe the channel and do write your responses in the comments of my youtube channel now let us see here that inclusion bodies are mentioned here inclusion bodies are present in prokaryotes you know prokaryotes very well what they are meant for these inclusion bodies are nothing but they are stored food granules these inclusion bodies are stored food granules stored food particles they are so the most important thing about the inclusion bodies is that they are membranous they are membranous that is they are not bound by any membrane that is they are naked parts of the prokaryotic cell what are naked can you guess see how do we prepare when i say membranous that inclusion bodies are membranous immediately in our mind we should remember what are also membranous in a eukaryote or in a prokaryote i will give you the list you see ribosomes ribosomes are naked cell organelles they are found both in prokaryotes and eukaryotes we know that unequal subunits of ribosomes associate during protein synthesis and dissociate after protein synthesis so their association and dissociation is possible as they are not bound by any membrane probably you may think that if they are bound by any membrane is it possible yes it's not possible as they are not bound by any membrane they are membranous they are membraneless so their association dissociation is possible in the cell ribosome another one is centriole we know centriole is also a membranous but centriole is found in all animal cells as well as in primitive plants responsible for that condin uh, spindle fiber formation we know they are astral spindle fibers are formed in animal cells those astral radiations are processed by the centriole like structures centriole structures in animal cells that is also a membranous another interesting thing the interesting thing is that in the eukaryotic cell inside the nucleus the dense membranous structure is present that is called as nucleolus so this nucleolus is also a membranous so that the content of nucleolus is continuous with the nucleoplasm that is the content of nucleus so that is also a membranous they are not bound by any membrane and the dna present in prokaryotes 
that is genophore nucleide that is also a membranous often we say that it is double stranded circular naked dna not bound by any membrane and you know plasmid which are present in bacteria they are extra chromosomal genetic material they are also double stranded circular naked self replicating extra chromosomal ring like dna structures called plasmids or plasmosomes so they are also what do you call uh, a membranous so they are all a membranous along with inclusion bodies this is how we should prepare when you listen a term immediately you should recollect the similar terms wherever you encounter in the subject like botany or it may be zoology if you are able to encounter them without fail then you think that you are in the ring of competition if you are unable to recapitulate them then think that you are not in competition you are away from the competition we should always in touch with the subject always be pertinent you should aware of you should aware of everything everything you should know then only you are in that ring of competition right so that is the importance of recapitulation now i am telling you that there are there are membranes that is they are naked they store food material and there are examples they are given here is that some are phosphate granules phosphate granules we know phosphate dna is phosphate joint molecule and dna contains the phosphate here right we know by ester bond they are bound to each other and uh, phosphate present in in this uh, plasma membrane also like we have lecithin that is a phospholipid another is glycogen granule glycogen what is glycogen you know when we take food the liver stores glucose in the form of glycogen this conversion of glucose to glycogen takes place by insulin hormone and when we require food again glycogen reconverts into glucose by another uh, hormone that is uh, something that hormone i don't remember that i am not getting that glucagon i think that is glucagon hormone so those are the two hormones here present here is the glycogen granule and another is uh, cyanophysian granule cyanophysi cyanophysi means blue green algae blue green algae are called cyanophysi so they store cyanophysian granules so these are some of the stored food particles which are not bound by any membrane called as inclusion bodies that are exclusively present in prokaryotes they are exclusively present in prokaryotes we know prokaryotes very well that include bacteria archaebacteria cyanobacteria uh, mycoplasma etc actinomycetes also another point is that gas vacuoles gas vacuoles are cylindrical shaped they are found in pulp purple blue green and green photosynthetic bacteria and these gas vacuoles are permeable to gases and impermeable to water gas vacuoles they are also a membranous present in purple that is purple sulfur bacteria blue green that is blue green algae or cyanophysian bacteria and green photosynthetic bacteria that they perform photosynthesis with oxygenic some are anoxygenic right remember that a membranous and these gas vacuoles are permeable to air but impermeable impermeable to water so they enable the bacteria to keep floating they provide buoyancy they provide here buoyancy buoyancy means keep floating in water surface the water bodies now let us see the question now we have got all the information i always suggest children that don't read the options immediately immediately in the sense 
when you read the question think of the question for some while some while in the sense at least for one or two seconds think of the question what is asking exactly don't drop your lines don't drop your sight on the lines and the options immediately what happens when you see the options immediately you will get the or you may not get the option you may not get the answer but when you think of that really when the answer will strike in your mind then you see the options it is very easy for you and you will follow the evaluator the paper setter in excellent manner that is the good that is a good feature for a successful person i am telling you once again don't see the options immediately after reading the question right why because you have to think about the question when you think about the question you should get the answer then when you see the options you will get the answer right and your way of thinking and the wavelength of that paper setter will be same then you get the right answer so here also always i don't think of the options first i explain about the question then i read the options option 1 they are not bound by any membrane this is very much correct because they are naked bodies they are involved in ingestion of food particles this is the wrong because ingestion of food particles is not done by inclusion bodies it is done by something like food vacuoles something like uh, pseudopodia right so something like lysosomes in eukaryotes they will cause this ingestion of the food particle food particle ingestion means swallowing taking in the food particles is done by the food vacuoles lysosomes as well as pseudopodia as in case of amoeba so this is the answer for this question here let us see third option they lie free in cytoplasm is very much correct they represent reserve material in cytoplasm this is also very much correct you can give one more option they are found in prokaryotes that will be also the correct so this is the explanation of this question and uh, you are doing well i think you are preparing well we will see next question in our next video don't forget to subscribe my channel vivid botany thank you